Welcome, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to to all. Today is November 25th, 2021. And, well... Well, it has been, it is, it's been a rather interesting NFL season up to this point, especially for the Cleveland Browns. Browns, like, and the Browns have been um, so up and down this year from, I mean, they're six and five right now. They got the Baltimore Ravens coming up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you what? mean the Baltimore Ravens or the Baltimore Raptors? Ty, you going to use that kind of language on the air? <laughs> I'm just, you said it. In our hour private hour conversation, ago, I said hour it, ago, yes. An hour ago, you said it. That was like five minutes ago. What are you talking about? An hour ago, five you ago. said that. You said that. It wasn't an hour ago. It was right before we started the show. No, it wasn't an hour ago. Well, anyways. 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 The Browns. Browns have been. Have had an interesting season. If they play any, if they play him like they played against the Detroit Kitty Cat Lions, uh, they, I got to be honest, then I don't think they will stand a chance against the Ravens. I hope they play a lot better than what they gave. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see. All right. Yeah. It takes over. For now. Oh, man, my good luck charm, my good luck rubbed off of you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about my good luck charm rubbed off of you because I know I'm your favorite mentor. Sorry, are you being a turkey? Are you being a turkey? I'm not. All right. I or are think, you just upset that you're not watching Carson Wentz today? Carson Wentz is in my favorite quarterback. I'll be right back. <laughs> God dang it, Mark. God dang it. God dang it. God dang it. God dang it. All right. <laughs> All right. Can I get back to my take? Sure. You may finish what you have started. Okay. Where was I? Um, let's see. Was I at the part when... When I started talking? Yes. Okay, so I made a separate video on the Browns game, um, but I want to add this to to it because I've been waiting to add this, and I think you will agree with me. We weren't we weren't able to see Baker Mayfield play that good. Oh, he looked horrible. He looked, he looked like horrible. Like, like, I don't know. I don't know if it was just an off day for him in terms of his play. 
Yeah. Because he got Baker Mayfield is my favorite quarterback and possibly yours. Possibly. Because your quarterback, your favorite quarterback changes every single time. Doesn't now. But but here's my thing. Here's my thing, Mark, is that Baker Mayfield gotta play better. He's gotta play way better than we thought he did last Sunday. Because Mark, let me tell you this. I almost turned the game on the way Baker was playing. Yeah. I almost turned the game off. Like, we should have beat the Lions probably 22 to 6. But we agree. Would you agree with me on this? Here's my final point. Do you think the defense stepped up in the second half? last Sunday, then we let a 75-yard touchdown. Yes. Do you think after that second half, the defense showed up? I would say so because it it looked like a – it looked like in the third quarter the Lions were gonna catch up and and catch the Browns, uh, but the defense got some uh, um, some very important stops uh, and uh, and I think that, that brought a huge huge boost of of, uh, of energy and momentum to the to the team and just it. Uh, was an absolute catalyst for the Lions and, and it just put and they just couldn't keep up. Here's my thing too. I think that interception by Disney Ward was yep. probably the dagger. You think so? Because they have two or one. Uh let me check. Because I remember he, someone dropped the first one. I can't remember Let's who. See. Come on, ESPN. Load up. Load up. Why is ESPN so slow? Like their app is so slow. Um. Here we go. All right. Um, so the first interception was intercepted by Malcolm Smith at, at the 15, or at Cleveland's 15. And then. Uh, and then, yeah, the second the second interception that occurred in the second quarter was intercepted by Denzel Ward at, at the at Cleveland's 20. So he must have been uh, two. I don't know why I thought he had two interceptions. Yeah. Maybe, but do you think our defense can step up like that? against the Baltimore Ravens because I'm not going to call them what I called them at the beginning of the show or as you called them off camera, which... which hey, no no need know, to bring what happens off camera into, into this show. Whatever happens off camera stays off camera or on camera. But, like... It happens on camera. That's going into our next blooper reel. All right. 
Better it, watch out, Ty. What? Why? 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 You better watch out. But do you think our defense can step up? I think they can. Well, depends, actually. If well, they we, had... do got, we do got Clowney. We do got... Um, Garrett, we do have Miles Ward. Garrett. We do have... Um, we do have... Um, um, we still have Moa. and keep in mind we do we do and have a, and, and keep in mind we do have Joe Woods as defensive coordinator. So it's a total crapshoot. What's going to happen? You don't like the defense coordinator? No, I don't no. either. What? I don't need either. I don't either. Yeah. Honestly, if Joe Woods isn't fired by the, the end of the season, he de- he deserves to go and to go in the off season. Who's like, going to pick? I think I think there's a lot of defense coordinators that. The Browns can't get. Like who? I just don't know, like, who who we could get if, like, if, like, our defense coordinator doesn't do a good job. Because it seems like, to me, like, you have to be on the same page. I agree. Would you say that? Yeah. Ty, what do you think if it, if the Browns brought Greg, Greg Williams back as defensive coordinator? Uh, I would probably pro- get probably okay with it. What about you? I agree. I mean, uh, I mean, he was, he was a better defensive coordinator than uh, than Joe Woods is, and I mean, and Joe Woods' defense uh, is uh, way way more uh, more star studded than uh, than Greg Williams was, uh, but Williams uh, Williams' defense had far fewer issues than. Uh, in terms of their actual play that they and uh, then Joe Woods does. I mean, uh, it was very hard, uh, especially when, uh, especially when uh, the Browns finally fixed up their offense and uh, offense in uh, late 2018 uh, Joe or uh, Greg William, Greg Williams, defense uh, was uh, immaculate on third down. Unless you had some absolute studs on offense, uh, they were pretty rock solid on deep on a third down, and that's just not the case with Joe Woods. Uh, I mean, and on third down with Joe Woods, you might as well be giving them a fir- might as well be giving the other team a first down. Hey, what if they hire us to be the defensive coordinator? So we can play checkers while the other guys are playing chess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I'd give it a shot. I, I, I don't know why they want to hire too. me, but I'd give them a shot. But I'd give it a shot. I'll get. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Like, there's no me. There's no meaning to like give somebody a shot. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the MJ and Ty podcast show. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, subscribe to our other channels. And oh, yeah. So you can see Mark get pie in the face.
or so you can see me me rant and ramble about whatever is on my mind. Uh, hey, hey, what about my mind? Oh, yeah. Ty has a channel, too. Subscribe over there so you can watch him rant and ramble. Rant, rave, and ramble. See y'all next, next week. Keep your heads in the game.